space around wherever you are, that you can reach your arms out and not touch anything in your surroundings. You wanna make sure that you have that same space clear on the floor beneath you as well. So nothing that you might accidentally trip or touch when you're on the floor. You'll want to have some closed toed shoes on or if you're comfortable barefoot, that's all right too. We don't wanna have any sandals or open toed shoes that we might easily trip on. And then you'll also wanna make sure you have water and probably a rag handy to wipe sweat as needed. Um, other safety precautions that we should mention. All exercises are gonna be modifiable. So I'm gonna show you one level, one option. Steve's gonna show you another modified level or option. Choose whatever option works best for your body today. If you need to take a, we'll, we'll get breaks throughout, but if you need to take a break at any time to grab water, wipe your sweat, catch your breath, that's totally fine as well. Otherwise, we will have them built in. And you can just kind of take a breather or a minute to pause if you'd like to as well. It's totally fine to keep your camera off. We're just gonna pause and periodically check in with you all and have you throw us a thumbs up or a wave or a little hello in the chat so we make sure that everybody's doing fine and okay so we're working out at home and can't see each other. Um, Steve, anything else you wanna share? Um, just to lead, go up on what you said about modifying the workouts, um, choose the workout that you um, will able to, you're able to complete the full thing. So if we're doing like a set of 10, don't choose the workout that you can only do three of. I'd rather you finish all 10 repetitions and get more movement out of it. Um, and then maybe later, um, if you choose to use any of this uh, as a workout, part of your workout regimen in the future, you can push yourself to do the other. But it's kind of cool to learn all the different ways you can modify um, a simple plank. So try all the different positions today. Um, even if some are easy um, and some are maybe a little bit difficult, I would try all of them. But again, focus on the ones that you could complete our, our full repetition. Yeah, great advice, Steve. Um, so we'll start with a warm up and we'll give you a little bit of a guideline of what we're doing in terms of reps, sets, and time as we go throughout so you know how to appropriately pace yourself. We're going to start with a brief warm up, but before we do, I just want to see if there are any questions from anybody. So you can throw them in the chat, you can raise your hand, you can pop up onto the screen. Are there any questions, comments, or concerns that we haven't addressed yet? Nope, I think we're good. All right, thanks so much. Also, if you, we don't have any music on because it'll be a little bit difficult to hear us and music at the same time. So if you want a little bit of music to pump you up um, while you're exercising, feel free to turn some on on your own. So we're gonna run through a brief warm up here. We're gonna go through this whole thing two times. So the first thing that you're gonna be doing is a side step. So you're just gonna take a big step to the side, open your arms and bring them back together. So step, tap, step, tap almost like you're opening up your arms, like the pages of a book, and then bringing them back together. And you can deepen that step as you go, if you'd like. It's a nice big step. The purpose here is just to increase our core temperature, increase our heart rate and our breathing rate, and get our muscles warmed up and ready to move. The next exercise we're gonna be doing is high knees. I'm gonna show one option, and Steve's gonna show another. We're gonna be here for 30 seconds. So take whatever option works best for you. High knees, driving your knees up towards your chest. Nice, long, tall spine, looking straight ahead. Upper body's nice and relaxed and making sure to breathe. You have another 10 seconds here. We're moving now to glute kick. So it's the reverse of that motion. You're gonna bring your heels towards your glutes. You'll get a nice long stretch through your quadricep muscles, the muscles down the front of your upper leg. And again, you can jog or march. Both options are good. Both will help warm up the muscles in your lower body, increase your heart rate and your core temperature. Landing with soft feet, like a ninja. Five more seconds here. <laughs> Five, three, two, and next exercise is jumping jacks. Two modifications here, you can step or you can jump. 
Again, whichever option you're choosing, soft feet, wide arms, opening up your chest here, warming up your shoulders, your core, your lower body, and increasing your heart rate. You can hear my breathing. Starting to get choppy. 10 seconds here. Four, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, go ahead and bring it down. We're moving to arm circles. We're gonna start forward with small circles. So you're standing nice and tall. Again, nice long spine. Head is neutral, looking straight forward. Reach your fingertips out to the side. Small circles getting gradually bigger as you go. The rest of your body stays nice and neutral here. We're warming up those shoulders and the chest and back muscles as we go. Three, two, and we're gonna reverse this motion. So here, palms face the sky. You're gonna start with small circles. We'll start to feel the muscles in the arms. Waking up, gradually getting bigger and really, really big, as big as you can safely and comfortably go. The rest of your body stays nice and neutral. Go arching in the low back. Imagine you can have a string pulling your head towards the ceiling for five, four, three, two, and one. You have can openers, so you're gonna stand nice and stable slight engagement of your core, like I was gonna come and poke you in the belly. I won't do that, of course, but that's what you wanna feel like. You're gonna bring one leg up, open it out to the side, and back down. And then you'll rotate, so you'll get a little bit of a balance challenge here. Up, open, down. If you'd like to stabilize on a wall, or another non-moving object, like a desk or a couch, that works too. This is opening up your hips, and getting a little bit of balance and stability in your legs as well. It's only to use their hands to open them. Yeah, you can open your legs with your hand to deepen that stretch a little bit. We're gonna reverse that now. So you're gonna go outside to in, trying to draw a semicircle with your knee. So we're really getting a nice big circle here. Lift out to the side and up, plant firmly through that standing leg like tree roots driving into the ground. Let's do four, three, two, and one. The last exercise in our warm up, you're gonna do a squat. So you're gonna get feet shoulder width distance or maybe a little bit further apart, whatever's comfortable for you. Toes can either point straight forward or slightly out. You have a tall spine, head and neck are nice and neutral. From here, you're gonna throw your arms out front for a little counterbalance. Sink back like you're sitting down into a chair. Your knees will follow your toes. And then you'll stand back up. We're gonna do 10 of them here. Good, keep tracking your knees with your toes, sinking your hips back. If that feels a little uncomfortable today, you can bring your hands onto your quads for a little bit of support. Or you can just go halfway down. Whatever works best for you. All movement is good movement. This is gonna activate the muscles of our lower body and core and help mobilize our ankles, knees, and hips. Let's do three, two, and one. Good. We are gonna go into our first set here, starting on the floor. So safely make your way onto the ground if you wanna pull a towel, a blanket, and anything down on the floor if it's not a comfortable surface to lie on. That'll be great. Steve's gonna take you through our first set. Again, he's gonna be showing some modifications today while I'll be showing the full version. Let's switch your audio. Yeah, sure. Or you can, yeah. I wanna make sure everybody can hear me. Can I get a little wave or something like that or a thumbs up maybe? I see one. Woohoo! <laughs> Three, that's good enough for me, all right. Uh, so we are gonna do some stuff on the ground here. Um, again, I'm gonna give some modifications. Kelsey, we'll be doing some of the more advanced movements for age-related reasons. Uh, uh, 
just follow along and like I said, do your best to try all the different movements. Um, some are more difficult than others, but choose a movement that you can uh, safely accomplish all the repetitions. So the first one we're going to do is glute bridge. So we're going to lay flat on our back. Take your heels, you're going to tuck them in as close to your glutes as possible, your butt here. Your hands are going to be flat on the ground, and what you're going to do is you're going to take your pelvis or your hips and you're going to push them up to the sky. And hold for a second, and back down. Good. And we're going to do 10 of them. Two. Three. Make sure you're breathing as we go. It kind of can be a, a thing where people hold their breath while they're working out. You make sure you're Air in, and exhale as you complete the movement. Inhale, exhale, good, we got three more. Inhale, exhale, we got two more. And last one. Very good. Our next one is gonna be a very similar position, so we're gonna be down on our butt. If you wanna grab a little sip of water, I suggest that you do that. But a lot of the stuff we're going to be doing is going to be related to our core, so we're going to have too much water at this moment. Uh, but we're going to go right into dead rugs. Uh, imagine you found a little dead bug in, in your uh, in your garage. What do they look like on your back? Arms and legs up in the air. And then rows and sit. And that's your job is to hold yourself up as long as you can. Different modifications. I can bend my knees. I can put my elbows down on the ground. If you want the more difficult, the lower you get your body to the ground the more difficult it becomes as far as a core exercise. But any of these that challenge you enough to the point where you can finish in the last 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, good, almost there. Keep holding, keep breathing. Any of these positions and relax, good. Go ahead and flip on over. So what we're gonna move to now are uh, some chest and some core exercises. Again, there's gonna be a couple different modifications for these as well, so try all of them. Uh, the first one is just your run of the mill push ups. I'm gonna be modified. Kelsey, take a peek at her. She's the advanced super athlete here. Um, my hands are shoulder width apart. My knees are on the ground. My body tries to stay flat. I'm not sticking my butt up in the air, creating an angle. I want this part of my body to be as flat as possible. I'm gonna go down to the ground. I'm gonna to touch my sternum to the ground. Go back up for one. We're going to do ten of these. And two, three. Good. Exhale all the way down. Inhale. Exhale up. Four, five, six. Good. Almost there. Seven, eight. Two more. Nine. Good. Last one and ten. Outstanding. Last one for this circuit, this set. Uh, we're gonna go into a plank. Again, very similar modification. So knees on the ground uh, for a little bit easier exercise on the body. Uh, if you want to keep those knees up off the ground and challenge yourself, that's okay too. We're gonna go elbows on the ground, shoulder width apart, our hands are core, they can be flat, you can have a fist, whatever you feel comfortable doing. Here's our regular plank. Here's our modified plank with knees on the ground. We're gonna hold this for 30 seconds. Good, we're already five into it. Make sure to breathe. It's really easy to let your butt sink or scoot up into the sky. Do your very, very best to keep your body super flat, as flat as you can while you maintain breathing and focus on feeling your muscles in your stomach and the muscles in your sides, your obliques, all squeezing together to help hold your body in that nice flat plank. You guys got 10 seconds left, you're super close. Five, four, Three, two, outstanding. Very good. You go with the cardio now. Oh, water break. So take about a minute or two. Again, a lot of these movements that we're going to be doing and exercises are going to be related to the core or moving around. So take a little sip to wet your mouth. Not too much water while you're working out because you'll feel like kind of juggling and jumping around in your stomach and it's not going to make you a great experience. So. Drink water, not too much. Sure. Oh, do you do the bridge Yeah. Cool. We're going to go through that one more time. 
You guys are experts this time, so we're going to flip on our back. Remember, feet flat on the ground. Tuck those heels in as close as your glutes as you can. Hands flat on the ground, and we're going to take our hips and our pelvis, and we're going to push it up towards the ceiling. We got a ton of them. Ready? And one, two, three, and try to get a little pause right when you get to the very top. And four. If you get a little tired going up and down, you can just hold it here in a glute plank. And six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten. Outstanding. Good. From this exact same position, we're going to go right in the dead bug. We know what we're doing here. Remember, for the more difficult, we want our hands and our legs as close to the ground as possible. As we raise our hands up closer and pull them into our body, that alleviates some of the tension you feel on your core to make the exercise a little bit easier. So whatever feels more comfortable for you to last all 30 seconds, we've got 20 seconds left. Good, halfway there. If you want to try all sorts of different movements, just to kind of find that good zone where you feel like you're challenging yourself the most, I suggest you do so. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Good. With it over, under our belly, right into our push-ups. So again, we've got our two versions, modified push-ups with our knees on the ground and or uh, regular push-ups where your toes and your hands, your palms and your hands are the only thing touching. Again, Kelsey will do uh, regular push-ups, I'll do the modified. And begin. Good, remember that nice flat back. Very similar position to what we do uh, for planks. You want to increase if the modified is just a little bit too easy for you. You can raise those feet off the ground like I am and kind of create a pendulum. Now we'll increase the modified push up difficulty just a little bit. Okay, we got three more. Two more. Last one. Outstanding. And the last one for this, this fourth set, we're going to go right into uh, our plank. So again, knees on the ground for modified. Um, toes on the ground for regular. And begin. And like I said, just the same with our push ups. If you would like to increase the modification of difficulty, you can go ahead and raise those feet off the ground, or you can slide those hands out in front of you a little further, and you'll feel that belly tighten up quite a bit. Up. So we're going to hold this for 30 seconds. You guys are already 20 seconds away. Good. Yes. 15, 14, 13, 12. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Oh my goodness. All right, go ahead and take a water break. Grab some water for our first cardio, cardio round. So grab a quick drink. And while you do, we'll take a minute or two break. We have a question that you can answer in the chat. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, we were both muted. Okay. <laughs> we were asking, while we take a little bit of a break, for you to share with us what you're most looking forward to doing as the world returns back to some kind of normal. 
So as things become safer, people get vaccinated, we can get outside more. What are you most looking forward to do? Seeing friends, seeing family, going out to eat, going to amusement parks, coming to work. What are you looking forward to as we move back towards our new normal? Go ahead and share it in the chat. Travel. Travel. Travel and being with friends and family, definitely. Concerts. Cool, concerts. What else? Keep them coming. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Eating, Eating at buffets. buffets. I don't know if those are coming back, but hopefully. Oh, hopefully. I was really sad when Soup Plantation closed. Oh, so I know. <laughs> what else do we got? Come on, share what you're looking forward to. What are you looking forward to? Working out in the fitness center. Working out. <laughs> I know, Soup Plantation. Sunrise Buffet. I am so looking forward, non says seeing everyone on campus. That is certainly a highlight for me too. I think missing being at work was, was tough. Everybody's so sad about Soup Plantation. We should hold the service. I know, <laughs> keep them coming. We got a few more. Go to the gym without a mask, soccer. Awesome. Okay, thanks for sharing. So we are gonna move into our first cardio circuit. We're gonna do this two times through. We have four exercises, 30 seconds each, two times through. Are you leaving this one? Yep. Okay, Steve's gonna lead us through this one as well. Again, take whatever modification works best for you and rest when you need to. I'm back. Uh, again, I'm gonna supply the modified work for you guys. Uh, and Kelsey will do the super athlete group, which I can no longer do um, because of obviously my 15 years at Mason. Uh, so we'll start with our just jumping jacks. Um, so we did some jumping jacks in the beginning, so you kind of have an idea of what the modified and regular are. So we'll go for 30 seconds um, and begin. There we go. Take your time. All right, jumping jacks, these are just getting our body loose. Like Kelsey said, increasing that core temperature so that you get that blood flow. So your muscles and your muscle tissue to make a workout as safe as possible. Good, if you wanna really increase the range of motion of your shoulders by doing the modified with me, you can increase, like I said, all that synovial fluid running through your joints there and your shoulders, all that good liquid that helps lube up your Joints in your body and make you feel good when you move around. Good, we got five, four, three, two, and relax, good. Next, we've got speed skaters. <clears throat> Again, modified with me. We're gonna go toe tap with me as we go right to left. Again, with our hips, our knees, what we're doing is just getting our side to side movement, our lateral movement. Those little tiny itty bitty muscles that go all the way through your hips, around your knees, in your ankles that may not get as warmed up when we're doing just our normal standing bird and things like that that we all did in PE when we were in junior high. So there's a couple new moves that we like to do that ensure that as we go through our workout, we're gonna be as safe as possible. Good, we got five, four, three, two, and relax. Inchworms, I'm gonna move my camera down, I think. That'll be easier for us to see. Inchworms, this is gonna really, really, really get our hamstrings, okay? So what we're gonna do is slowly, 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 reach all the way down, touch our toes. Once we get all the way to the ground, we're gonna go ahead and walk our hands up, all the way until I'm completely flat, and then walk those hands all the way back. And then very slowly, we stand back up. Boom. Again, we do five minutes. All the way up, toward nice and flat. And then walk, 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 our hands all the way back. And I said, you said slowly, with your eyes on your head, begin the ankle movement, all the way down. Toes, walking out, and then three. Flat, hold for a moment. And back. Very slowly, stand back up, all the way down. Move nice and slow through these movements. There's no rush, we're not 
I'm not missing anybody on the way back. Again, if we're doing these and two of them is enough for you, totally fine. No big deal. I guess that this workout is for you to get the most out of. And relax. Good. Last one, we are doing mountain climbers. Again, same position. Uh, very similar to our push-up position that we were in earlier. Again, what I'm going to do is a modified with a toe tap. Uh, and Kelsey will show a regular mountain climber. So we're in a nice flat position. When you come up, touch my toe, and go back. Good. We've got 30 seconds right here. You're going to try to keep that back as flat as possible. Try to keep your knees from moving outwards. And what outwards means is right to left. You want that knee to go right up like you're almost shooting it right through your hands. Good. We got 10, 9, 8. Very good. And relax. Good. Outstanding. Woo! Example, we're going to move on to our next strength set. So that was a little bit of cardio for you. Yeah. <laughs> Just to be sure, can everyone hear me? Somebody give me a thumbs up. Thank yep. you, Adrian. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Charlotte. Okay, so your heart rate should feel a little bit elevated now. We're doing little circuits of cardio. And for distance training, we're moving back to our distance training. We have four new exercises. I'm going to show one version. Steve's going to show a modification. We're going to do them each for 10 repetitions, two times through the whole set, just like we did with our last strength set. So the first exercise is a squat. We did these already. We're going to review them very briefly. Feet, shoulder width distance or slightly further apart. Toes can face straight forward or slightly angled out whatever feels most comfortable to you. Put those arms up for a counterbalance. You're gonna sink your hips back if you're sitting in a chair and stop wherever you feel comfortable. I want you to imagine you have a straight line, like a plumb line from your tailbone up through your head. It has to touch your tailbone, your upper back, and your head the whole time. So I'm gonna have you take a nice deep breath into your belly. Go ahead, put your hands on your belly. Exhale and engage your core just a bit. Hands up. We're going to do 10 squats here. So you're going to inhale on the way down, exhale to stand. Here we go. Inhale. Slow and controlled. As if something's pulling you down and then shooting you back up. So you have like a little bungee cord on your hips, pulling you towards the ground. And then you're pressing through it to stand back up. We're halfway there. Sink those hips back. If you want a little extra support here, you can actually sit back into a non-moving chair or couch. Three more, let's do three, two, nice neutral spine, keep that plumb line, and one, good. Your legs should feel awake. The next exercise is gonna be for our upper back muscles. These are really hard to target without equipment, so we're gonna do a really unique stabilizing exercise here. These are called I's, Y's, and T's. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is hinge at your hips. You're going to send your hips back as if you're trying to touch the wall or the door behind you. So hips go back rather than down. Back. You still have that nice plumb line from your tailbone to your upper back to your head. Head looks slightly down and out. From here, take that nice big breath in. Exhale. You're going to drive your hands straight forward so your biceps are right by your ears. That's the first move. You're going to open them up slightly like you're making a Y. Make the first move of the YMCA. And then open up further so you're making a T. Your thumbs are facing the ceiling. And then you're going to bring them back down. Again, arms come forward by your ears. Open and 10. Each position is one repetition. So we've done two now. We're doing 10 of these. Three biceps. Open and all the way wide. These are called I's, Y's, and T's. Again, straight line through your core and back. Head looks slightly down and out and around. You should be aiming to pull through the muscles between your shoulder blades, those two triangle-shaped bones on the upper back side of your body. 
to bring your arms up, open, and out. We're halfway there. Keep going. If you'd like it to be a little harder, you can hold for a bit longer in each position. We've got four more. Keep breathing. Let's do three. Keep that nice neutral spine, long lines in your head, your tailbone for two. And one more time. Beautiful. Go ahead and stand up. Hopefully you felt that in the muscles of your upper back. We're going to move back to our lower body for a lunge. This is going to include a little bit more unilateral single side strength and stabilization. I'll show you from the front. Steve will show you from the side. So we're going to start with our left leg forward. You're going to take a big step back with your right leg. You should imagine like your feet are on railroad tracks, on each side of a railroad track. So they're not completely in line. They're on the two different lines of the railroad track. There's a space in between and everything is squared forward. So your toes, knees, hips, and shoulders all face the front of the room. We don't want to see this sort of angle here as you go down. That back heel stays up off the ground. You're going to aim to drop straight down, looking for a 90 degree angle at your front and back knee, and drive straight back up. If it's helpful to you, you can stabilize by holding on to your front leg or by holding on to a desk, couch, or wall, or other non moving object. We're going to do 10 on each side. So you're going to drop down and back up. Inhale as you drop, exhale as you drive up. And you're going to push through the ball and the heel of that front foot, stabilizing almost like you have a kickstand with the back leg. Feeling your quads and glutes engage to push you back up towards the ceiling. Again, dropping straight down and back up. We have four. You can use that support if you need it for three or the wall or the chair for two. And last one, let's switch sides, step together. Right leg comes forward, big step back. Again, you're on either side of those railroad tracks. Square that back hip forward, back heel is elevated. Toes, knees, shoulders and, shoulders and hips. Face straight forward, dropping straight down and up. Here we go for 10. Stabilizing by driving the heel and the ball of that front foot into the ground. Back foot is a kickstand. My hips stay forward. I can use support if I need it. We're halfway there. We have four. Keep driving through that front leg. Three, two, and one. Good. We're going to change up our push up this time. So we've done two lower body, one upper body in this set. We're going to do an incline push up. So you're going to want to find your desk, maybe a couch or a wall for this position. You have two options. You can do the regular push up like we did before, or because you have the incline, you can try a tricep push up, which will involve putting your hands closer together. That's going to place more emphasis on your tricep muscles. You'll keep them nice and close together. Whatever option works best for you. So find your stable surface. Again, we're doing 10 of these. Make sure it's non moving, no, no rolling chair. Grab your stable surface. You can be hands slightly wide on the shoulders or close together for your triceps. For a little bit more support, you can step your feet farther out. That's going to give you a bit more stability. For less and more of a core challenge, you can bring them close together. And again, we're looking for 10 here. 10. And you drive those elbows in tight towards your rib cage. Long line from your heels to your head. Squeeze in glutes, squeeze in core as you go. You're halfway there. Inhale all the way down. Exhale on the way up. If you want more support, find a higher surface. The wall will do. We don't have one right here. We're going to show you. Last two. And one. Good. Come on up. Hydrate. Grab some water. We have one more time through this full body set. Grab some water. Again, we're hitting lower body, upper body, back muscle. Lower body, single leg, upper body, chest muscle. Biceps, triceps, shoulders, <laughs> assist throughout. 
take a couple more nice deep breaths. We're going to do one more time through 10 repetitions each exercise. We have about 20 minutes left. Y'all are doing great. Okay, so let's set up for that squat. Get in your nice squat position. If it didn't feel comfortable last time, you can try maybe bringing your feet a little wider. If you felt like you were driving forward, try putting a couch or chair, non moving chair, behind you. Here we go. Arms up to counter balance. You have 10. Down, push up. Inhaling as you drop. Exhaling as you drive up. Knees track in line with your toes, not letting them drop in as you squat. Thinking about pushing through your heel, the ball of your big toe, and the ball of your pinky toe to drive you back up towards the ceiling. You're halfway there. Breathe. Three. Again, going only as far as is comfortable for you. Two. And one. Beautiful. Back to our eyes, Y's, and T's. You know what to do. Hinge those hips back. Like you're trying to bump the wall behind you. Long line from your tailbone to your head. Engage that core as if someone was going to come around and poke you in the belly button. And biceps up by your ears. I open up to a Y. Open up to a T. You're leading with your thumbs. I, Y, T. Aiming to feel this through all the muscles of your upper back, the back of your shoulders. Good. This is a great exercise to do if you're working at a desk a lot throughout the day and you're in sort of a rounded forward position, which most of us are these days. This will help open that up, reverse it, and strengthen the muscles on the opposite side of those joints. You're halfway there. Again, holding longer for more of a challenge. You have three. Pull those arms all the way up into position. Last two biceps by your ears. And last one. Beautiful. Stand on up. Lunges. Starting with that left leg forward. Take a big step back. Toes, knees, hips, shoulders. Face straight forward. You're dropping down and up. Looking for a 90 degree angle in each leg at the bottom of the movement. Here we go. For 10. Drive through the heel and ball of that front leg. Kick standing with your back foot. The back heel is up, elevated. Long straight line from your head to your tailbone. Use whatever you need to stabilize. Breathe, exhale as you shoot up. You have three more. You have two. Last one. Good, switch sides. Railroad tracks, square that hip. Heel is up, dropping straight down for 10. Good, tracking that front knee in line with the front foot. We don't want it falling in or out. Dropping straight up and down. If you feel yourself really driving forward and back, find something to stabilize, use a wall. Form first. We wanna make sure we're getting good form to appropriately challenge our muscles, reduce the risk of injury, before looking to make things more challenging. Let's do three, taking breaks when you need, two, and one, good, standing up. Last set of push-ups. aiming to keep the elbows a little bit closer to emphasize the triceps, whether your hands are farther or close, you need a couch, a desk, or a wall. A wall is a great option for this, because there's so much here. I'll try showing you on this, if you can still see. So it's a little bit higher this time, again. I'm going to walk my feet back until I get a straight line from my heels to my head, up on the balls of my feet, glutes are engaged, core is engaged, inhale on the way down, exhale to push back up, inhale on the way down, exhale to push back up, I'm hugging my elbows in towards my side, hands right in line with my chest. There's five. Four, you should feel your triceps burning a little bit more this time. Three, two, and one. Excellent. Done with our second strength set. 
grab a drink of water. We have another question for you. Got one? Do I have a question? Mm -hmm. For the band. The okay, Steve is typing your next question into the chat. So just time to take a little break. I'm checking in to make sure you're still feeling good. That's a good question. I get it. Mm, what is your favorite nutritious snack? Oh, wow. What is your favorite nutritious? Nutrition has is, has a wide variety of meanings. Lots of foods can be nutritious. Fruit, beautiful. Vitamins, minerals, phytonutrients. Cheese and nuts. Oh, that's a fantastic one. You'll get a nice, good, stable blood sugar response, some calcium, some protein, some healthy fats. Rachel had some right before this. Peanut butter, amazing. Cheese and nuts, yum. Lots of good, healthy fats. Rachel Schwartz is saying tacos, which all foods count, so we can find, <laughs> certainly find some nutrition in there. What else? Kale chips, yum. Adrian, do you make them or do you buy them? Because they're hard, I've found they're hard to make. Oh, oh yeah, and tacos. <laughs> Lots of fans. Talk about your black bean burgers. Tacos. No, we don't need to talk about that. <laughs> Whole avocados with salt is such a good one. We're eating lots of good, healthy fats. These are really fantastic options. And we do need salt in our diets as well. You make and buy, Adrian. Really cool. I, I, the trouble with kale chips for me is they're hard to make. I burn them easily, and they're expensive to buy. Anything else? Hard to <laughs> Anything else? Probiotics. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Good. Really healthy snacks. Hopefully you will. You burn them too. Yes. Hopefully you'll eat some after this. So it's a good idea to get some nutrition in in the couple hours after you work out, aiming to incorporate some carbs, protein, and definitely water hydration. So those these are some good options. All righty. We're gonna do our cardio circuit one more time. Same as before. So we have our jumping jacks. We have our speed skaters. We have our inchworms and our mountain climbers two times through, 30 seconds each. This is our last cardio set, so pick whatever option works best for you. Here we go. So you're 30 seconds here stepping or jumping. Both options are good. If you jumped last time and you're feeling tired, you can step. If you stepped last time and you're feeling jumpy, you can jump. Halfway there. Now I'm thinking about everybody's snacks. 10. Five. And speed skaters. So we're going side to side, lateral movement. You can jump or you can step and tap. If you want to get real fancy, you can jump up and land down. Woo. Whatever option works best for you. You can do fun arm movements, whatever you want. Halfway there. Really using those stabilizing hip muscles, as Steve mentioned. It's a great exercise for our soccer superstars. We got on here like half Five, four, three, two, and inchworm walkout. Arms are up or down, wherever you're more comfortable. Reach towards the ground. Walk all the way out to the leg. And back up. Bend your knees as much as you need to make this movement feel comfortable. Slight stretching the hamstring. Walking up, back up, got three more here. Breathe, reach down, pull plank. You have two more. Good job, last one. Walk it all the way out. You're going to hold your plank this time for your back lunge. Again, you can step or drop. Here we go. Our knees or step. Whatever option works best for you. You're halfway there. 15 seconds. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Come on up, grab some water if you need it. We have about 12 minutes left in our workout. Hydrate. We've got a little bit left and then we're gonna cool it down. One, two, three, 
Yeah, one more card, you are. Let's go. Place. Yeah, go three and then. Okay. Right. All right, we have a little poor circuit here for you for our last set. My four. It's feeling tired already. So, we're going to do four different exercises, 30 seconds each. Take whichever option works best for you. We're going to do a regular plank. We've already done that one, elbow plank. We're going to do a right side plank. I'll show you two options. A left side plank. I'll show you two options. And then a plank with hip dips. So you're going to add a little bit of a rotation component in there. These are all going to challenge your core. It's a lot to do at once, so we'll take a little 10, 15 second breaks in between each exercise. Again, take whichever option works best for you. So grab your mat, the towel, whatever you have to put down the floor. We'll give you two options for your plank this time. You can be on your elbows or on your hands, whichever you prefer. Again, on your toes or on your knees. We've already explained this one, so we're just going to go right in. 30 seconds here. Drive the floor away with your hands like you're trying to push to the ground. That'll activate the muscles in your chest and upper back to help stabilize your upper body. Long line from your heel to your head, slightly point up to your hips to get that core activation. You just have 12 seconds here. Drop down your knees at whatever time you need, and tuck your hips down to you. For five, four, three, two, and bring it down. Next, we're moving into our side plank. This is a great exercise for your oblique muscles, for core stability, for hip stability and for scapula, thoracic, shoulder, upper body strength. You get a lot of bang for your body. You have, you're gonna come down on your elbow. We're gonna joint stack here. So elbow, under shoulder, under shoulder. You're looking to be exactly perpendicular to the ground. You have two options. You can bring the bottom leg down, top leg straight, and lift from there, driving up to that bottom hip. Or you can bring both legs straight and lift from here. Again, driving up to that bottom hip and your head and press so I have elbow, under shoulder, under shoulder, rotating my chest open. I'm not leaning forward. I'm not falling back. And I'm lifting up through here. Again, option to drop that bottom leg down with a little extra support. You're halfway through. Reach, reach, reach with that top hand. Keep lifting, lifting, lifting. Four, five, four, three, two, and bring it down. Switching sides. You have two core exercises left here, y'all. So again, same option, elbow under shoulder under shoulder. Both legs can be straight out or you can bend that bottom leg. Lift the arm up, drive to that bottom hip. We're holding for 30 seconds, so I'm not falling forward. I'm not rotating back. Push through that lower elbow. Drive up. Aiming to be exactly perpendicular to the ground, really working that lower oblique. Drop the leg down for extra support as needed. 10 seconds here. You have five, four, three, two, and bring it down. You're gonna get back into your plank position one more time. We're gonna give you a couple options with shoulder taps here. So you can be, let's have you on your hands. Again, you can be on your knees with the hips down or on your toes. And you're going to be alternately tapping opposite hand to opposite shoulder. That's going to add a little bit of a rotation component. Your goal is not to rotate with it. So you want to stay as nice and stable as possible as you're closing it. So find your preferred plane position that you add a little bit more challenge and go ahead and tap, tap, tap. Tap. Again, we're looking not to rotate our hips as we go. Hips are like headlights on the car. We both have to face the same direction for safety. Keep tapping. Drop to knee as needed. Let's do five, four, three. Drive the floor away. Two. And. One, nice draw. Drop down to your knees. Send them out nice and wide. Keep us back for child pose. We're going to move into our cool down now. Go ahead and drop your head down. You can extend your arm out if that's comfortable for you. 
This doesn't feel very comfortable on your knees. Feel free to grab a pillow, a jacket, a towel, place it in between your knees and it sits back on that. It'll take a little pressure off. Otherwise, we're just going to hang out here for about 30 seconds, taking nice deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth, letting your whole body calm back down. So you did a warm up, you wanted to pull your whole body up. You did two strength sets, two cardio sets, and a core finisher. Feel free to use the recording of this workout to participate in it anytime. From here, you're going to come up to an all fours position. We'll do a little bit of cat cow here. So arms on your shoulders, knees on your hips. Go ahead and inhale, drop your belly to the ground, head to the side, so you have a nice stretch to your core this work. Exhale, tuck your tailbone under, warm up the support away up your head. Inhale, drop it down and up. Exhale, tuck under, ground, drop your head. Let's do one more time to stretch it. Keep that nice, slow, gentle breathing. You want to really bring your heart rate down after you exercise to move on into the rest of your day. Tuck your toes under. So go ahead and tuck each toe. Bring your hips up towards the ceiling. Sweep your legs as much as is comfortable. Spread your fingers. Drop your head. Downward facing dog. You should get a nice stretch through your calves and hamstrings here. Taking those nice deep breaths for three, two, and walk your hands slowly, or feet slowly up for your hands, bending as much as you need. And we're just gonna hang out here for a minute, grab it all. So you can cross your hands over one another and drop your head, or keep your hands on the ground for some support. Again, bend those knees as much as they need. Taking those nice deep breaths. Taking a minute to thank your body for working hard for you this last hour. And we're going to just drop our hands slowly, rolling up to stand. Head coming up last, nice and slow. Catch your breath, get your balance here. Let's bring our right arm across our chest, stretching your shoulder here. Keeping those nice deep breaths. Switch. Should feel everything starting to cool down. Your temperature should cool down a little bit. Your breathing should slow and deepen. One arm overhead. Reach your hand towards the middle of your back. Pull your elbow towards your ear. You'll feel a nice gentle stretch through your tricep, the back of your arm. Switch. Two more stretches here. Bring your arms together, place your palms out, round through your upper back. And then a nice stretch through the muscles of your upper back. Your core stays neutral, like you're trying to hug a beach ball using the back of your hands. And then you're gonna reverse that, arms behind, shoulders back and down, open through your chest, let those shoulders drop. This is another nice one if you're working at the computer a lot throughout the day. Go ahead and bring your arms down. We'll take one nice deep breath in together. Go ahead and inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, let it out. Awesome job, everyone. We haven't been able to see any of you, but I'm sure you did great work. Before we leave you all, we have a couple minutes here. Please share with us in the chat, what is one healthy thing you've been doing for yourself regularly for the past 15 months that we've been out of school? It could be anything. It could be exercising, walking, getting outside, having regular talks with friends, drinking water, taking breaks, whatever it is. It doesn't just have to be physical. Go ahead and share with us in the chat. Let's see. Can we do this every day? We're in, Beth. No, we cannot do this every day. 
<laughs> Rachel ready. Bike riding, walking. Walking is the most underrated form of exercise. It is so good for your health. It is one of the only proven exercises shown to improve cognitive health and well-being. And it's easy, it's affordable, it's generally safe. You don't need lots of equipment. You get outdoors, it's awesome. Family time, love it. Walking with your dog, Zoom happy hours, great. Finding ways to stay connected. Social connection is a huge component of our overall well-being. In fact, the two habits most highly linked to longevity, living a long and healthy life, are exercise and social support. So lots of other things are good. Healthy eating's good. Drinking water's good. But it's good to have friends. Zoom staff pup, puppy me. I like it. Share a couple more with us. What else have you been doing for your health? One. Mm -hmm. I, oh, here's a good one that I did. Took. Yeah, I did have a baby. Sleeping is such a good one. So important. Sleeping is sort of the bedrock of all your other healthy habits. I took my work email off my phone. I had to set a boundary. I was using it all day. Sleeping. Anyone else have anything to share? Yes, sleeping, getting lots of sleep. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you, everyone, for joining us today. We really appreciate it. We hope you enjoyed yourself. Have a snack. Hydrate. Thanks, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day. And thank you. Thank you all so much for the work that you do. We love being a part of this event in exercise science because we couldn't do any of the work that we do without you. Thanks, everybody.